the party every day here on SA Live, but there's no party like Fiesta. Then with all the Fiesta food, and we have Chef Tattoo Herrera of Fogoleta's Coffee House, and you've dreamed up some over-the-top Fiesta treats for us today, right? And they're pretty easy to make. Yeah, and the way I like to do stuff is stuff we have in our fridge. Uh, a lot of times during Fiesta, people like to bring stuff over to your house, and that's where I kind of got inspired by. So, for instance, a lot of us have pan de huevo, pan de dulce, yes. something like that, right? We all have a lot of it, and then we toss it because it's too much. Yes, yes. Right? I always throw it away. Yeah, so been... instead we're gonna do we're gonna make bread pudding with this. Okay. So all you're gonna need is uh, I have egg, a little bit of milk and cinnamon. We just mix it, right? And then we're gonna pour it in here like this. So eggs, cinnamon, cinnamon uh -huh. milk. And then your whatever kind of day old bread you have, just cut it kind of chunky, not chunky like me, but a little chunky like this. <laughs> and then we mix it, right? Okay. And then you get a cup. Make sure it's not a metal cup. I know yeah. a lot of you, I know a lot of you guys <laughs> like using metal. And then we're gonna put it in here, I'll see. Easy as mantequilla. I know, this is so easy. Easy yeah. as mantequilla on a hot tortilla. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put that así. Oh, it looks kind of weird. There yep, you go. Yep. Put it in the All microwave right. for three minutes. All right, let's do this. All right, three minutes and magic of TV. Ooh, it is a little toasty. Yeah, Look yeah. at that. And then when it comes out, we just hit it with a little bit of caramel. Done deal. Mm. And the cool thing is that that'll last. And the cool thing is you can also freeze this if you want to. Oh, and then smart when you have a lot there. of people together, you can make yep. it. Yep. And this, the kids would love this. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, All right, very this quick. smells amazing. Now let's move on. This one's really fun here. So a lot of us have, I know my wife does it. She buys strawberries and she eat, oh, eats like two and then they start going bad. Yes. So instead, what, so we have here is we have watermelon that we have that's kind of going. We have strawberries, got it. Uh, we have some cherry tomatoes and we have some limes. Go ahead. All right. And this is stuff, like you said, people, mm -hmm. they have it in if their fridge. If you have fridge. cucumbers, if you have jicama. Too you can't add lettuce it. there, though. I know the way you are. <laughs> and then you eat some lime. How do you right? know I love salads? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, some lime. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, see. Okay, you can squeeze, you can squeeze it with your hand. You look real nervous. <laughs> okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to hit it with jicama. <laughs> okay. Hit it with jicama. And then mix it. Okay, right, mix I'll let him take over. I will do the okay. pop box. This and is a fun part here. So then, I always like to have fun with my food, and I love pop rocks. All right, ready for this? Keep going, girl. Now, so we mix it around. I can hear them popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like and, and the cool thing is that we all like texture with our food, and this mm. adds that, and adds flavor, and something that's fun. It's really and good. And the kids love it. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. and then the last, last but not least. is chicken and waffles. In the South, we love it, right? But everyone does it. It's the same. It's kind of boring. So what we got instead is we got like uh, buffalo uh, boneless chicken wings. Uh, we cooked it for 10 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss it in my buffalo sauce. So in the air fryer, yep. about 10 minutes. And then I like just regular waffle cones. <laughs> and it's still it, popping over here. It's okay. craziness. Yeah. <laughs> and then the cool thing about this is that we just toss it a little bit like that. Dun, 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 dun. Make sure everything's covered. It smells amazing. Thank you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up your little cone. Ooh, oh, I saw oh, these are these are really big guys already. <laughs> okay, that's for me. I'm a little gordito. <laughs> I like them like that. Okay. But this is so fun putting them in a cone. I would have never thought to do that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So then it's like that, and we, oh, we're I like top ranch. It off. We're not done. Yes. Ranch or blue cheese, Blue, right? oh, oh, blue yeah. cheese, yeah. And you can do whatever, but this is something fun, something the kids will love. You're yes. outside for having fiesta. Easy, have some fun. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to take a bite of this, but you guys are always giving back to the community. Tell me a little bit more about yeah, that. Yeah, so uh, we have two different coffee shops, and we always have markets. Mm. We invite vendors out. We don't charge anybody, and uh, we like to see small business grow. So that's what we're about at our, our foreclosure. This is good. This is really good. I know. That's I a little it. kick to it. All right. Thank you so much. You have two locations. <laughs> two locations. They're laughing at me all y'all. Uh -huh. Two different locations. Let us know where those are. Yeah, so we have one that's on Grayson and New Braunfels, and we have another one on Roosevelt. All right. You can find more information on Chef Tattoo Herrera at Folklotus Coffee House on our website, salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan the QR code on your screen. All right, you're going to make me eat this by myself? Yes. All right.